Australia has presented a collaborative opportunity to India for co-developing underwater sensors and drones that will enhance maritime surveillance capabilities and monitor the movements of Chinese submarines in the Indian Ocean region. The new Maldivian president has left for Turkey on his first official visit, instead of first visiting India, which was done by all previous presidents of Maldives. The primary aim to visit Turkey followed by United Arab Emirates, is to explore alternate sources of funding to reduce dependence on India. The Indian Air Force is planning to take over three airstrips in northern India, and use them for strategic purposes, and also improving air connectivity for the locals. China has started testing the electromagnetic catapult system of its third and the most advanced Fujian supercarrier, that will enable it to launch heavier and larger fixed-wing aircraft with greater fuel and weapon loads. The third carrier will be ready for deployment in 2025. Defence Expo 2024 will be held in Ahmedabad from 15 March next year. India and France have started negotiations to finalize the weapons package for the upcoming 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets of the Indian Navy, and apart from Meteor rare to air missile and AM-39 Exocet Sea Skimming anti-ship missile, France has also offered the Scalpair launched cruise missile, which are already deployed on Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. It has a range of 560 km, and is designed to hit high value and strongly protected targets deep inside enemy territory. The Aeronautical Development Agency will use the Naval Tejas prototype to showcase its manned-unmanned teaming concept, and the demonstration will take place in 2025, that will include formation flying, information sharing, executing strike missions autonomously formation rerouting for handling unexpected situations, and recovery after the completion of their missions. The successful demonstration will pave the way for its integration into the TEDBF and AMCA. The feasibility studies to incorporate the indigenous Astra Mark I air-to-air missile with Rafale fighter jets will be completed next year, and trials from Rafale fighter jet is expected to begin before the end of 2024. Once the integration is successful, India plans to export the 110 km range Astra Mark 1 and Smart Anti-Air Field Weapon to other Rafale operators, such as Egypt, Greece, Indonesia and the United Arab Emirates. The cavalry engine that will power Tejas fighter jet as part of the technological demonstration, will undergo weight reduction measures over the next few years, as the engine remains overweight. The cavalry engine along with the afterburner section will weigh around 1180 kg, but the ideal weight should be within 1000 kg, and work is underway to improve the used materials and reduce over-engineered components over the next few years. The United Kingdom has renewed its offer to collaborate on the development of a new generation jet engine for India's AMCA program. The DRDO chief has acknowledged the ongoing discussions with the UK regarding the engine development partnership, and he stated that the DRDO is currently evaluating potential partners for the sixth-generation jet engine program, and a deal will be finalised by May 2024. Today's top 3 comments